Can you tell us a little bit about how you found out about the bomb? When they knocked on my yeah. door this morning. <laughs> they, they knocked on your door? And told me that they thought they found a bomb across the street. And so, uh, just wanted to warn us that uh, something was taking place. Then the next thing I knew, maybe half an hour later, something knocked on the door again. And that's when he said, going to evacuate you. And so they gave us a few minutes to collect things and then took off and I've been gone ever since. So, so when they told you there was a bomb in your driver, close to your driver, what did you think? What, it was what right across the mind? street. I could see it from my house. You could? Yeah. And so the sandbags that were up there, I think, on the, my property. So, so what did it look like? when you? What, what did you see? All looked to me like about a foot long uh, drain pipe or uh, downspout. That's all I could see from where I, 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 I think I didn't get that close to it, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you know how long it had been there for? I don't have the slightest idea. Okay, and so did it seem dangerous to you? Did you fe feel like you needed to leave right away or did you wait? No, I was ready to stay there for a while because I just put a load of laundry on. <laughs> I want to be there when, when the was being laundered. So. Uh, no, I wasn't scared. No, I wasn't nervous. But, but it, it's not every day that somebody knocks on your door and says there is a bomb in your driveway, just off, off to the side of your driveway. No, there's not off. That, no, not off that you do that. So especially with what's happening in Boston, you know, were you thinking that there may be, you know, some sort of connection or, or... No, I, the, the, way he, the way he put it at the beginning, that it might have been there for some time, so it was nothing current, let's put it that way. So knowing that you'd lived next to a bomb for a long time, God knows how long. How long yeah. What, yeah. What does that? How does that make you feel? I've seen them dig a lot of different things out of those ditches or drains when they clean them out. So I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think anything like about that. So did, you, did it appear to you to be a prank or or something like completely homemade, like a that I couldn't say because I don't know enough about those things. Uh, all it's uh, just from seeing, sitting down here and looking up there where you, you uh, uh, knew there was something there, but why the heart's going to operate, I don't know. I, when it comes to electronic stuff like that, I just don't know. Yeah. Were you, were you ever in the, in the military? Yes. Which, which, which part of your life was in the military, spending the military? WW2. WW2. So for, for, the, for a World War II veteran, a bomb like this is scary, somewhat scary, or something you deal with. Certainly, something you don't expect in the. It's something in you the don't expect, but it's it's uh, the way things are in the, in the world today. Why it's not surprising. Let's put it that way. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Uh, as far as I am concerned, I think since we've gone to all this electronic stuff, it's made a big difference. Uh, the other thing I think is what's wrong with our country. They've taken the incentive away from the youth to learn, to work, and have authority over them. But you're never going to change it back. It's, all you have to do is just watch some of the news and, and you see all these different things the young kids are doing uh, with their lives by everything they put on the or bloop tube, whatever you want to call it. And, and, uh, so, no, I don't. I don't like electronics. I don't have a computer. I don't want a computer. And I have a cell phone. I don't like it. I just use it for an emergency. That's it. Have you Have you been in contact with your family to tell them? No, not yet. <laughs> they must be worried about you. Oh, uh, I'll talk to my sister, uh, my daughter this afternoon. Otherwise, uh, no, I don't have uh, my. Both of my family's back east on the east coast. It could have gone the other way too, though. It could have exploded. It could have. Could have exploded. It could have yeah. really caused a lot of damage. Yeah. But when you're 88, you're not surprised. A lot of things taking place.